So Joe Biden has said again and again that he is in favor of disarming Americans. And at the same moment, he's very much in favor of arming the Ukrainians. Maybe you should have given money to Joe Biden's son and you could keep your guns. We've just announced we're sending another $1 billion in weapons to Ukraine, sacred Ukraine. This is the 12th installment of military aid to Ukraine. That package includes rockets and anti-ship weapons systems. In all, Congress has authorized more than $40 billion of spending on Ukraine. And that includes a lot of money to pay the salaries of bureaucrats in Ukraine. You know, it's worth noting at exactly the same moment, just this past weekend, hundreds of Ukrainians in Kiev were photographed having a beach day. Over in this country, meanwhile, the border and the economy are both collapsing and our leaders are doing nothing about it because it's not important to them. As Mitch McConnell said, Ukraine is the most important thing in the world. Ukraine in January 6th and red flag laws. Why? Why are those things so important, but not you? Chip Roy is a member of Congress from Texas. Lukenbach, Texas, by the way. He joined. Is that true? Lukenbach, Texas? Yeah, I represent Lukenbach. It's, uh, you know, God's country out there. Tucker, you need to come visit. Country music fans everywhere make the pilgrimage. Uh, so, Congressman, tell us why, when the problems around us, when it does feel like things are kind of falling apart for real for the first time in our lifetimes, they're focused on Ukraine and January 6th. Well, there's no real excuse for it, uh, Tucker. You got the Democratic Party who has basically declared war on the American people, our way of life. You've just had a number of segments talking about energy policies, where we're now paying $5 for gas and we can't even have energy, uh, electricity being created in Texas, of all places, where we sit on an entire ocean of oil because of our stupid policies and chasing unicorn energy policies, where you've got windmills and, and uh, solar panels on you know windless, cloudy days. You've talked about with Steve Dace about what they're doing with respect to, you know, the clot shots and the needles getting jammed in the arms. Let's talk about the border where we've had almost 3 million apprehensions. Now today, reports of 800,000 gotaways, known gotaways, over the uh, course of the Biden administration. Fentanyl pouring into our schools, our kids dying in record numbers. And what do Republicans do? I mean, Republicans are complicit. They're saying, hey, why don't we just go along with the Democrats and let's do red flag laws and let's go forward and draft daughters. You can't even make this stuff up. And now Republicans are getting mad at me. Republicans are saying, well, well how dare you question the uh, you know, genius of drafting daughters? You know, our 18-year-old women, let's send them off to war. You know what they say, Tucker? We'll never send women into combat who are drafted. But this is the same Democrats who can't even tell you the difference between a man and a woman. Well, that's that's exactly your Republican right. Party going along with the entire equity agenda because they don't want to actually stand up and fight for the people who send them to Washington. That's right. The, the purpose of, of that by law is to obscure the difference between men and women and pretend there are no fundamental differences when there are. But when I'm in a good mood and I want to feel angry, I watch the clip of Mitch McConnell standing there with the cast of morons behind him nodding all the Republican senators saying, the most important thing in the world is Ukraine as the American economy yeah. evaporates. Like, how can someone like that lead the Republicans in the United States Senate? Well, this is the question the American people need to ask, right? Republicans have a lot of, they're, they're big chest right now, a lot of wind in their sails because Myra Flores won in Texas. You know what? That's a big deal. You know yeah. why? Because Texans are pissed off about what's happening on their southern border, and they yes. should be. But Republicans are taking it for granted because they care about power. They care about committee chairmanships. They care about raising money. But you know what? They need to be caring about honoring their commitment and doing what they said they would do. And they're not. And they do things like give a $40 billion blank check to Ukraine where they're trying to say, oh, we need to do that because Putin is evil. Well, I know Putin's evil. You know Putin's evil. But why don't we go demand that we open up American oil and gas? Why don't we go do what we need to do to stand up for America? Why don't we secure the border? Why don't we stop spending money we don't have? And why don't we not draft our 18-year-old women in a fit of equity rage in order to appease leftist Democrats who want to kill us? I have no idea why they would do that. We need new leadership in this town. Yeah. I've met a lot of world leaders. I haven't met too many who weren't evil. Just throwing that out there. Uh, not a defense of Putin, <laughs> just a fact. Um, Congressman Chip Roy of Texas, great to see you tonight. Thank you. All right, God bless.